Honorable Education Minister present over here and uh, all the dignitaries, uh, a very good evening to one and all. My name is Sisir Kumar Patika. I'm, a, I'm, I'm the student delegate traveling from Odisha to Rajasthan. Uh, currently, I'm pursuing BSc Agriculture from so Siksha Anusandhan deemed to be university. Feel privileged to be a part of such a wonderful initiative. Uh, to begin with, India is a land of diversity. Diversity not only in terms of the geographical location, but also the language, culture, literature, and all the customs, traditions uh, we've traveled across. We've traveled across different parts of the country, but hardly do we get to experience uh, a clear understanding and deeper insight into what goes on within the state. Rajasthan, all we know about Rajasthan, that Rajasthan is a land of forts, culture and palaces that are famous all across the world. When this happened, Rajasthan, while we were traveling from uh, Delhi to Rajasthan, the first thing which astonished me was the sunsets at 7 p.m., which was quite interesting. And the day, the journey began with first from uh, Governor House. If I traveled with my family or any relatives, I don't think I would have gotten such a broad opportunity to meet Governor Sir and experience his, uh, his valuable lessons. Next to that we have moved to some of the very important places of Rajasthan like Hawa Mahal, Jal Mahal, City Palace which are not only indicated the broad Rajasthani architecture and also the values and ancient culture of Rajasthan. Next to that we moved to Udaipur and which, which was one of my personal favorite part because it started with the Eichling Sri Temple which was quite uh, fascinating and next we moved to Maharana Pratap Ji Museum at Haldigati where, where there was a light and sound show which was quite uh, which inculcated the sense of nationalism within me and uh, next to that we moved to um, Shilp Gram in today's world where uh, the where we follow western culture places like Shilpgram is a breath of fresh air indeed where we get to experience the local uh, folk dances of Rajasthan like Kalvelia and uh, many other uh, Ghumar and um, other dance forms which was quite fascinating to watch and while returning way back from uh, uh, Udaipur to uh, Jaipur, we, we took a hold at um, a village called Burthal and I remember the, uh, the uh, local people of Burthal were so warm and welcoming that inculcated a sense of, you know, a homely feeling. I remember the Kakisa and uh, other uh, otherly elder women who nurtured us and cared us like their own part of the family which was so delightful and so heartwarming and, uh, which is so good to hear and I remember uh, we had a dinner that day and uh, they fed us uh, the puri, dal bati and uh, malpua, yes malpua which is quite, which reminded me of my home and uh, Katvisa said that pura khatam karke hi jana which was, which reminded me of my mom guys it was so homely and that was so fascinating to watch and the people over there, the dance, whatever happened, the program, whatever happened was so delightful to watch and, uh, and next to that we returned to Jaipur and uh, we, we visited the um, MNIT Incubation and Innovation Center where we, where we got a deep full insight about the startups and uh, also we known about the block printing and handlooms and everything over there. Uh, all I would like to conclude is that whether it's uh, whether it's Dal Bati Churma or whether it's Pokhara, whether it's uh, Rajasthan or whether it's Odisha, we all share the same traits of uh, integrity, humanity and generosity with the same compassion. With this I would like to end. Thank you.